One thing I think that we can all agree upon is that we need to learn how to set boundaries. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine an electric fence right now, okay? Imagine that that electric fence is your boundary, okay? Now, when you don't have strong boundaries, people touch the fence. They pee on the fence, they kick the fence, they, they pick at the fence, tear the fence down, whatever it may be. Look at the fence as your boundaries. So when you have no boundaries, obviously, people don't have anything to worry about. But when you have boundaries, they touch that fence, bzz, they get an electric shock, nobody likes that. That's not good. And that's exactly what your boundary needs to do. It needs to sting a little bit. That's the whole point of a boundary, okay? Most people are setting boundaries and then they're loosely fitting, meaning we kind of come from this place of people pleasing where we, we want to set the boundary, but we're like really nice about it. No, 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 no. The nicer you are about the boundary, the more times it's going to be crossed, right? Like imagine again, the fence. Imagine you get to set the voltage of your boundary. You get to set the voltage of a boundary, okay? So what, the, what is it going to be? You're going to have someone touch that thing at 50,000 volts. You're going to have them touch it at 10 volts. Well, it's up to you. But the more firm you are on your boundary, the more ampage you, you give it, the more sting you hit them with, the less likely they are going to touch the fence again, right? The less likely they're going to try and cross that boundary. And the number one, right? Like the, the shock of, of, a, of a century, like if is showing that you're not afraid to walk away or dissipate that experience in your reality. So walking away from someone is your superpower. Letting them know that's unacceptable behavior around me. That's my boundary. Do not cross it. Like it, ha it has to sting. So, so, so you're going to have to feel uncomfortable because a lot of times we're setting boundaries or at least we're trying to with people that we do care about. But that's, that's the exchange you become a healthier, a more intelligent, a more, a more calm, a more peaceful, a more uh, clear individual when you have people around you that really respect your boundaries. And, and when they know that, hey, look, this person's very open, they're very calm, very collective, very inviting, and they're nice until they're not nice. Like, let's use that line. Say it with me. I am nice until I'm not nice because there are times where you have to not be nice. And setting boundaries, we are not typically nice. We're setting a boundary. Think about like kicking a shovel into dirt, you know, and you're piercing through, right? I know it's kind of out there, but that's, that's like the initial or like a, that's kind of a dumb fucking analogy. I'm sorry. That made no sense. But I'm trying to think of something like, like a, just a bit the Band-Aid analogy, right? Like ripping off the Band-Aid. It's going to hurt a little bit. It's going to sting. But just quickly do it. Set the boundary. Get it out of the way. Do the thing. Feel uncomfortable. And then you, the problem with setting boundaries is that we are afraid that setting that boundary is going to make the other person essentially leave us, right? Like there's anxiety around, oh my God, what if they, you know, like they, what if they don't have interest in me anymore if I, if I'm not like giving them that. But the thing is, is if it bothers you and if you set your boundary and they can't accept that and they, and they want to make you feel bad about it or guilty about it or, or trip you into some manipulation of making you feel like the boundary needs to exist, then they're not for you. Boundaries are your best defense because setting a boundary is going to be uncomfortable. Setting a boundary is going to eliminate people from your life. Setting a boundary is going to hurt some people, including yourself. But it is necessary for growth. If you do not and cannot set firm boundaries, turn that shit all the way up, vamp it, okay? If a motherfucker touches that fence, they should be shocked and they should never want to touch it again, okay? That's a firm boundary. And so what does that look like in real time? It's like, okay, let's say you have an ex. This is a common issue. This happened to someone that I know. And so let's say you have an ex who's like keeping something in your house and like you keep 
tell them come get it like get your stuff and like you don't want to throw it away because you don't but then th that's where the boundary comes in that's where you set the firm boundary and you say look it's been three years or you three months whatever it's been come get your shit you have two weeks and on two weeks on the 17th of this month or whatever two weeks would be i'm throwing it away end of story this is your final warning that's that's your, that's the boundary and i tell you fucking what on that 17th or the 14 days after if they didn't come get it garbage vamp it up turn that freaking fence on and shock the shit out of a motherfucker because that's what you have to do you have to this isn't about this isn't about hurting people and this isn't about this like naive arrogance to be like that's my boundary that's my boundary you know, because then no one's going to want to be around you. You know, if you're like stingy and if you think that setting boundaries is some type of like manipulative control to get people to, you know, treat you a certain way, that's wrong. It's wrong. There is a way to do things and then there is a way not to do things. And that, what that really means is that there are fear-based options or options based out of love. And if you are choosing fear, you're always going to hurt someone else because you're going to hurt yourself. But if you're always choosing love, you're always going to help yourself or someone else. And though it may appear to hurt, love hurts because it's growing pains. Fear hurts because it's uh, loss, I guess you could say. I mean, growth is loss too. That's a whole nother video. But bottom line, whoever needs this message needs to know one thing. Set firm boundaries and so you can actually rewrite that right now you can rewrite that in real time right now with me let's take a look at the thought so what is the thought what is the thought around your boundaries right now take a look at whatever the thought is let's see my boundaries um, my boundary right now is that I am being I'm giving too much energy away to one individual who I don't actually believe deserves that kind of energy because I don't feel the reciprocation. So my boundary is for myself and they may feel it, but first I'm going to communicate openly with this individual and say, this is how I'm feeling and see obviously how that response happens. Now, this is why I'm saying rewiring this because you're talking about the scenario. You're helping your mind like figure out what the thought is, what's the script, what's being sent out into the quantum field to come back to you as, as an experience, as an awareness, as something that you have collapsed into form to experience based on your belief. The script is sending out the instructions to the universe to say, here you go. And then you look around and you're like, wow, this is reality, but it's just an illusion because it's not real because your reality is much different than mine. So there is no fixed reality. Reality is what you make it wholeheartedly. And so your boundaries then, in rewiring that, you find the thought, you take a look at the thought. Oh my God, you know what? I said I should, <laughs> I said that I should charge my batteries for my light before I started this fucking video. And I didn't. And so now we're going to finish this in dark. Bottom line, become aware of the thought. Take a look at the thought. Hold on one second. If I can get my studio lights on, I think they're blue lights, but at least you got a little something here. Maybe that'll give you, there we go. At least you can, at least you can see my silhouette. Uh, so anyways, take a look at the thought and just hold on to, to what it is. Write it out. You can even comment it in the comment section and that is also a way to reaffirm it. Yes, that is energy. It works the same way because you're here now interacting with the energy of this video. And so energy flows that way and it, it all compiles. So like a collective version of things is always going to be more powerful than an individual. And so when you do comment or you, you know, decree to your own mind, this is who I am now. Take a look at the thoughts and then figure out a way to set a boundary around it. Vamp up the voltage on your fence. Okay, that's your homework. You can write it down, you can put it in the comments, you can do whatever you want. But bottom line, set firm boundaries. This video isn't just about setting boundaries. It is about the firmness of the boundaries being set. If somebody crosses your boundary one time, that's it. 
because once you set the boundary, all the conversations, all the apologies, all the things that ensued prior to this boundary being firmly set with this individual, they already happened. That's why the boundary is being set. There is no more chance after this. You set a boundary, that's it. That fence is on, it stays on, and if they choose to touch it, you're going to shock the shit out of them. They ain't going to like it. Two things are going to happen. They're going to walk the hell away and out of your life because they did not like that. Or they're going to be like, you know what? I will never cross your fucking boundary again. I hope you found value in this video. Set your boundaries. It's important for your health. Overall, mental, and then the relationships that you build from that will be genuine, real, and beneficial to your journey and your growth. I appreciate you being here.